Hey everybody, I'm Charlie Craven, and today I'm going to tie for you a pattern from Tim Drummond uh, called Tim's Water Boatman, and uh, this is a still water fly um, that's uh, pretty cool and fairly simple to tie. Um, so we're going to start off with a TMCO 3769 hook, um, and I'm tying a size 14. 1416 is the range, um, and what I've got on here is a uh, medium size gunmetal glass bead. So I'm going to take, to start, I'm going to take some 10 thousandths lead wire, and I'm just going to build eight or ten turns here and break those ends off. I said break those ends off. That's ten thousandths. So I can cut that with my scissors. But I'm going to shove that up into that bead to center it. That's going to add a little weight to our fly as well. Then I'm going to start off with some black eight dot unit thread. And I'll start this just right over the top of the lead. This is kind of a chunky little fly, so I'm not, not so worried about the, the underbody shape. And the first thing I'm going to tie in is a strip of thin skin. And this is model Bustard Thin Skin. Um, that's about as wide as the gap of the hook, maybe just slightly narrower than the gap of the hook. And I'll separate that from the paper backing. And one trick um, I like with this stuff is I'm going to tie it in up here on top of the lead. And I'll catch it so that it buckles down around the hook. And then I'll wrap all the way back over it to the bend. And then anchor it down tightly there. So that it is buckled around the hook bend there. Then I'll tie in, in the same manner, a strip of pearl lateral scale. So I'm going to tie that in again up on top of the lead. I'll wrap back over it to the bend. Like so. Now the body on this is just black peacock ice stub. Peacock black as the label says, I guess. And I'm going to build a fat little body here. Uh, this is a fairly coarse dubbing, um, but I do want to pinch it down good and tight as I go. It just helps with building the shape. And oftentimes with, with ice dubbing, you'll get kind of a broken strand. Um, you can shove it back together and, and make it work. And I'm going to start this dubbing back here toward the bend and build kind of an oval shape. Let's see how I can tighten it down where it needs to be tightened. But I'm going to leave myself a little space up here behind the bead. So just a nice, fat, chunky little body. So at this point, I'm going to take some black super floss, just one strand. I'm going to lay it in here in this space behind the bead, and I'll catch it at the center of its length. And I want one of those legs to be back on the, on the far side, like so. I know that was invisible there against my black shirt. And I'm going to pull the front end over to my near side and catch it as well so that both those legs sort of angle back, like so. Now I'll pull my flash up over the top and tie it down just behind the bead, get a couple turns on there. And then I'll pull my thin skin up over the top and anchor it down with a couple of turns. And then I'm going to fold that thin skin back and catch it once or twice more. And I can trim my flash out. And I'm just going to build a nice thread neck there to kind of fill in that void. And I'll whip finish right over the top. Now this little stub, I'm not going to trim it flush. I'm going to leave a little stub that sticks out, sort of a wing case. And these legs are going to be just about even with the bend of the hook. Like so. So we've got this little water boatman pattern now. Um, I have sort of taken to adding a just a little shot of UV resin to the top of these. Um, just dresses that up a little bit. This is not uh, part of Tim's original pattern, um, but it's something that I've been doing to them as I've been putting them in my box. So I'll put a little drop of that on top. Coat that whole top side right up onto the back of the bead. Make sure you get all that thin skin coated nice and even. 
and I'll hit that with my UV lamp just kind of on and off. And we've got our finished Tim's Boatman. Cool little pattern, great uh, great fall still water pattern. Um, this is a really fun fly to fish. This is a, a fly that fish chase down. Uh, the one thing I found fishing them is if you uh, are stripping the fly and you see a fish following your fly and he kind of races up past it, um, he's already eaten your fly. They uh, These water boatmen swim pretty, pretty strong. And uh, the fish have to kind of put on the afterburners to catch them, so they uh, they chomp them down pretty good. But man, it's some really great visual sight fishing if you uh, are in the right place at the right time. But that's Tim Drummond's water boatman. Thanks for watching. I'm Charlie Craven. There's always more coming. Stay tuned.